Hi folks, uh, first of us, I want to apologize for not posting this video on Thursday. It's now Saturday. Um, I just, I just forgot I was processing and then I got distracted with other stuff and forgot to post it. So I'm remaking it, reposting it. Uh, so last week we talked about openness, um, you know, access and a little bit about privacy. We're going to focus on privacy this week. Um, you know, what does it mean for experts to post things? What, what does it mean when you post things? Um, what are the benefits and drawbacks of having an open, uh, an open internet? Um, and so, this week we're going to focus a little more on privacy. What are the benefits and drawbacks of having your information out there? Uh, every time you register for a website, right, you give them information. And as we all know now, there are uh, companies that buy that information and connect it all. So uh, most things that you register for, your insurance company, your uh Instagram account, your bank account, well, hopefully not your bank account, but most of the websites you, you register for, they will um, at least sell your name and your email address uh, and possibly some other, th some other things to these data aggregation companies so that they get this really detailed picture of all the websites you visit, all the things you buy, all the things you search for. Google obviously sells a lot of information. Um, so that's great in some ways because people, you know, like the advertiser, you, you'll, you'll see things that you're actually interested in. Of course, it has downsides as well, right? Um, people get radicalized. They start seeing more and more uh, videos and, and Instagram posts and things like that, that that are pushing for more and more clicks based on what they... Um, what you've done in the past. So we have to think about what we are sharing both on purpose, uh, knowingly and unknowingly, right? We don't know where all of our data ends up. So um, we talk about that this week, you know, you hear people saying, well, I have nothing to hide. Uh, we have an article this week that talks a little bit about that and uh, the dangers of, of that sort of slippery slope. Um, one, you know, question, did we, we all signed up for Medium this week uh, or last week? Uh, and, you know, did you read the terms of service? Uh, I, I haven't read it in a long time. It's probably changed and I probably just checked OK. Um, so one one tool that I do use is called Terms of Service Didn't Read. Um, so it's like TL too long, didn't read, right? TLDR, but it's called TOS DR. Um, and it's a plugin for your browser. And so I use this because it, it tells you, it warns you if somebody's really bad with data, right? So like Facebook and Amazon here, um, Wikipedia is okay, right? So that's good to know. Um, and that way you don't have to sit there and read through all the terms of service. They kind of do it for you. Um, anyway, so back to this week, uh, we are gonna frame or I've framed the topics here a little bit. I'd like you to read through that. Um, these are kind of optional, the links in here. Um, but you know, this is a really important topic, so I hope you are, um, at least aware of it. Um, one thing I want to be clear about, right, is I'm not saying you should never share your information. You you have to kind of in the, in the modern world, right? So I'm not saying you need to be some you know paranoid person that lives in the woods with no electronics. What I'm saying is you need to be aware, right? You need to understand what you're giving up and what you are. Um, and, and where it's going. So don't just, you know, check all the boxes and let anybody have your info at all times. There's a, there's something in the middle. There's some, some middle ground that you should be comfortable with conscientiously uh, saying, I am willing to give up some of my information to have this convenience. That's, 
that's the way the modern world works. But I would like you to at least be aware of what you are, you know, what you're giving up. So there's a couple here, uh, reading assignments here. Um, you know, if you have nothing to hide, that's the article I mentioned. Um, there is a um, little podcast here. It's short. It's like three minutes long. And then your assignment uh, for Monday is to consider this case study, Clearview AI. Um, and then I want you to think of a case study that to share with us. So, um, you know, there's a lot of, there are, there are a lot out there, um, about, you know, surveillance and about, uh, privacy breaches and, and things like that. Uh, there's a, you know, an example of Target knew that a young woman was pregnant before her family did and kind of outed her with the ads that they displayed. So, um, it's, you know, it's, it can be some scary stuff. So, um, so yeah, so you're going to do that. And then as usual, uh, part two, you're going to respond. Uh, I love the responses. I love it when the couple of people are going back and forth, uh, with their responses, actually discussing things. Uh, I love people that have put in some extra time into their medium posts. That's great. Um, you know, in adding, you know, pictures and colors and videos and fonts and, and all sorts of cool stuff. So if, you feel like being creative, that's great. It's really engaging. Um, and then keep in mind, uh, a couple weeks, uh, you have this adolescent interview assignment due. Uh, so don't wait until the last minute. It's best if you can, uh, you know, get, uh, get that started as soon as possible. So that's all I have for you today, uh, this week. And I look forward to reading your thoughts and yeah, have a great week.